So the question is not, you know, can I check those boxes at this moment in time? The question is, is there an ongoing pattern that that together makes a constellation? And then the, the second question isn't just do I have these traits? The second question in any diagnosis is, do these traits get in the way? Do these traits inhibit my life? Do they cause me to not function socially, do not function to a serious degree, not a little bit of a degree, right? Not just, I don't have great friends or I'm not the social butterfly or I don't meet parental expectations, or, but does it mean like I am seriously not functioning socially. I am seriously having deficits. It is seriously getting in the way of me functioning. Um, or is it getting in the way of school functioning? Or is it getting in the way when we're older of work functioning or family functioning or relationships? So you need those two things in a diagnosis. The one is the complete context that we see this as patterned, as happening over time, as happening in, in many different contexts, not just in one, you know, and, and I think one of the other reasons that this all gets really, really blurry right now is because we're talking about a particular part of the brain that affects ADHD and autism. Mm -hmm. And that's the, the frontal lobe. Executive functioning. Executive functioning happens. Well, the other problem that we're having is that we have an anxiety epidemic in our country mm. right now. Um, and anxiety is produces and stress of any kind um, produces hormones that shut down the executive functioning part of the brain or impair it temporarily. That is just what stress does. I